హలో ఎవరీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ దిస్ ఇస్ గుంటూరు మెడికల్ కాలేజ్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ అనాటమీ సో యూ ఆర్ సీయింగ్ ద ఫ్రంట్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫోర్ ఆమ్ మజిల్స్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఆల్రెడీ కవర్డ్ ఫ్రంట్ ఆఫ్ ఫోర్ ఆమ్ మజిల్స్ ఇన్ అవర్ వీడియోస్ యూ గో త్రూ దట్ ఇన్ దిస్ డిసెక్షన్ వీడియో ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ అబౌట్ ద రేడియల్ ఆర్టరీ విచ్ ఈస్ అ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఆర్టరీ ఇన్ ద అప్పర్ ఫ్రంట్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫోర్ ఆమ్ సో విచ్ ద రేడియల్ ఆర్టరీ పల్స్ ఆల్సో ఇట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ వెరీ మచ్ హెల్ప్ఫుల్ ఫర్ ద క్లినీషియన్స్ now we will see the radial artery entire course and its relation in the last video we have already seen it is the terminal branch of the brachial artery origin at the level of the neck of the radius that is the origin if you see the termination after running in the front of the forearm laterally it leaves the front of the forearm and enters the dorsum of the hand are you able to see this is the leaving the front of the forearm and it is now entering the dorsum of the hand that we will see again continue in the next video in this dissection video only we will see the relations of the radial artery so our relations of the radial artery in the upper part of the forearm front of the forearm it is covered by brachioradialis muscle in the lower part you see nicely it is superficial covered by skin superficial and deep fascia so that is the anterior relation in the front of the forearm if you see the posterior relation so this is the radial artery which is present in the cubital fossa so in the origin it is resting on the biceps tendon then the floor muscle supinata then it leaves the cubital fossa running over the pronate arteries then it is resting on the flexor pollis is longus and in the lower part flexor digitorum superficialis muscle and in the lower most part it is resting on the pronator quadratus so all these muscles form the radial bed starting from the biceps tendon to the pronator quadratus all these are the posterior relation now we will see the lateral relation so this is the superficial branch of the radial nerve so the radial nerve which is the content of the cubital fossa gives the superficial branch and deep branch so this superficial branch is lateral to the radial artery and also brachioradialis is in the lateral in the upper part brachioradialis stand on in the lower part if you see the medial relation so this is the flexor carpi radialis stand on so that is the medial relation in the front of the forearm so these are the important relations in the front of the forearm for the radial artery branches of radial artery in the front of forearm we will have in the cubital fossa radial recurrent artery near the wrist we will we, we get the palmar carpal branch and dorsal carpal branch so we have to the students have to remember all the structures in the front of the forearm enters the palm of the hand through the flexor retinaculum only this radial artery leaves the front of the forearm through the dorsum of the hand and it will enter the anatomical snuff box which we will see in the next dissection video i hope you should have understood clearly the relations of the radial artery in this video thank you